good morning all and have a beautiful day up the field perfect for the test flight of the dw which is dancing wings e15 dw mini eagle 1200 millimeter wingspan um, i've got the version which was on offer at a good price from banggood it comes with the motor 20 amp speed controller the motor is a 22 12 1100 kV and the EC is a 20 it says 20 to 30 amp uh, speed controller there but I've actually got the 20 amp version in there uh, the battery is a 3s 800 to 1500 I've got a 3s 1250 milliamp battery there uh, I think the C rating is is not very high it's something like 20 C something like that so um, but then again the type of aircraft this is, I'm not going to need to pull many amps anyway. I'm not really not going to need to uh, uh, put it under any stress. I've built the whole model uh, virtually as per the plan. I have not included ailerons. I wanted to go with a VTAIL setup and see how that performs. This is quite an old model now. Uh, as you might be able to see, the printing is probably not as crisp and sharp as in the earlier models. But nevertheless, um, it's still <laughs> another eagle to fly, I suppose. It's not in the same class as the giant eagle that I was flying last week. Um, this is 1200 millimeter. Uh, the old one was, uh, what was it, 91 inches. So quite a difference. And um, I still think the 91 inch one that I was flying last week is going to be far better than this. But you know i'm a bit biased right we'll just get this all hooked up and i'll see you out in the field for the test flight of this uh, dw eagle right we're ready for a flight of the dw 1200 millimeter wingspan eagle uh, i just wanted to point out um that this as this is a v-tail the deflections of the control surfaces are going to be reversed for the ailerons obviously the elevator up and down remains the same uh, but because of the position and the configuration of the VTAIL, they're going to be different. So, when I want to go right, the actual left aileron, as it were, uh, will go up and vice versa. So, I just wanted to point that out. Right, here we go. The first flight of the DW Eagle. And I have got it on 100% rates with 20% expo. And I'll keep it on 100% for the time being until I'm a little bit more familiar with its characteristics. But you can see, even with such a light battery and radio equipment on there, quite happy to uh, mill around there. I'm just under half throttle. She does seem to want to climb quite a bit, so I'm going to put in some down. Easily bounced about by the wind. See if we can bring around here out of the sun. You don't want to be blinded by the sun. The wind is now coming from my right hand side, which probably seems to be affecting the uh, control. She seems to want to go over to the left all the time. Let's put some right in. Right over one, as it were. Nice and quiet. Now I should say the, the type of foam that this is made out of, it doesn't appear to be the highest quality. It's not like a EPP foam. I don't think it is an EPP 
dropping foam. It seems to be quite a average, possibly low quality. I've not used hot glue on this model. I've used E6000, um, which I absolutely love. It's a go-to glue for all, all my foamy radio controls. Well, indeed, it will quite easily use... Um, you can glue other materials with it as well. It just seems to be amazingly good for foam models. That's hands off, roughly half throttle. I'll just turn that down. Easily going with the wind. The wind takes that quite easily. Six minutes. Yes, I think another one to add to my uh, birdie collection. Let's see if I haven't got enough already. Let's see if I can get rid of that. I think there's a bee trying to check me out. Lovely and quiet. Right, let's get out of that sun. The sun is very warm today. Can't see any buzzards. Very, very strange. Perhaps I haven't woken up yet. Five minutes. Perhaps a load of teenagers. <laughs> They've been at Glastonbury. Still in bed. Won't get out till about one o'clock, if you're lucky. Talking of which, I heard uh, that Glastonbury were charging £43, £43 for a bottle of Prosecco. That's bonkers, isn't it? I bet they get away with it, though. Suffice to say, I won't be going. I hope I'm not too high that you can't see it. Hopefully you should. Uh, I can barely hear it. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, there's no wind coming here at the moment. I've just switched the throttle off. And the throttle and the propeller is just freewheeling at this point. Three minutes. Okay, let's put a little bit more throttle on there. I'm just under half. Right, okay, I've got about three minutes left. I, I suppose I could stay up there for a little bit longer if I wanted. Go on, off you go. Let's, uh, let's slowly descend and we'll uh, come in for a landing. I'll tell you what, in order to do that, we'll have a very, very quick slow flyby. Two minutes. Okay, reduced the throttle by a couple more clicks. Well, there we have it. It's the first flight of the DW 1200mm Eagle. Um, currently, this is on special offer at Banggood. It's a fairly good build. Uh, the criticism I have, um, this is easily breakable, so you're gonna have to be fairly careful 
with it. Uh, as I mentioned, I built it with E6000 glue, just to give me a little bit more working time should I need it. Uh, I didn't use hot glue. Uh, there's nowhere on here that I have used hot glue, actually. Um, all in all, take your time on the build, and you'll get a flight, hopefully, equally um, as enjoying as I've just had. Uh, very good. Uh, another disappointment is I don't know where all the um, buzzards are gone. Um, but uh, there you go. Never mind. Right, this is the DW 1200mm Eagle. Um, I've enjoyed I've enjoyed the first flight. I'll probably do another flight. I've got another battery in the car uh, waiting to go. Hope you enjoyed it too. Um, I'll see you on the next video. Until then, bye for now.